Hey everybody, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church, and I'm coming to you again with another video on the subject of creation, evolution, and science. And again, I'm going to be demonstrating to you in this video that evolution is not only stupid and a dumb theory, it is completely unscientific and contradicts science. Now, uh, the law that I'm going to be introducing to you, uh, first off in this video, is going to be biogenesis. Now, this is really the only law uh, that is in the field of biology, a specific subject within uh, the, the uh, overall umbrella of science, and it is the law of biogenesis. And the man that is responsible for discovering this law and establishing it is Louis Pasteur. You may know him uh, from his last name, is what he's primarily known for. The, the process of pasteurization is named after him. It's taken from his last name, which prevents, of course, milks and other organic materials from spoiling. But he did a lot of work in fields of organic chemistry and even some in microbiology and other related <coughs> fields of science. So he, he is responsible, <coughs> excuse me, for, for founding the law of biogenesis. Now, what the word biogenesis means is, number one, bio means life. Genesis refers to the beginning of something. So this is, this is speaking of the beginning of life and where life comes from. And the actual law <clears throat> and what it states is that life only comes from life. Now, I'm simplifying that, but life can only come from life. Life only comes from life. Right, and it's it you know, is it there is an expanded uh, uh, portion of this, and it is that, and, and it actually states, and not from non-life. So biogenesis, the law of biogenesis, is as follows: life only comes from life, and not from non-life. So this is a known, observed law of science, known as biogenesis. Now this may seem ridiculous and obvious to you in the observation of the world. But in the past, there were things that confused uh, uh, scientists. Uh, you know, and bacteria breeding, maggots breeding, you know, mice appearing in places where they didn't think that they were going to be able to get into and, and all different other things that they would test. And, and he performed a series of observations and, and, and scientific experiments. And he uh, uh, well established and founded the law of biogenesis. And that is that life can only come from life. Now for an evolutionist, this is a major problem, a major problem. So much that one of their theories, just showing how unscientific and contradictory evolution is to the known laws of science and observation experiments uh, that have been conducted in this known universe, one of their theories is actually known as a biogenesis. Now, if you're familiar with the English language, when you add an A uh, to the beginning of a word, it serves as a negating prefix, and it actually causes the word to mean the exact opposite. So literally, this is a theory of evolution that directly contradicts a known established law of <clears throat> science. This is a known established law through experimentation and observation, making predictions, and then coming to conclusions. And the conclusion was biogenesis. Life can only come from life. That's an established fact in science. Well, nowadays, because evolutionists and atheists of course, they, they reject the Lord. They reject God, the God of the Bible. <clears throat> they have come up with a theory, <coughs> which is their only option, and that is that life came from non-life. They believe that life came from non-life, right? So, which is a ridiculous concept to believe that not only is it ridiculous just on its face and the complexity of the universe around us, but even on a molecular level, even when we go into what is considered simple cell organisms, and they always like to refer to the amoeba, they are astoundingly, immensely complex. And to think that something like that could come about by chance is preposterous. And, you know, there's all other different types of problems when you get into DNA and protein, and every living organism has DNA. You have to have DNA to make protein. You have to have protein to make DNA. There are so many other problems, just screaming problems that they ignore and avoid. But this is how unscientific, this is another example of how unscientific evolution is. They believe in something that has never been observed. 
They believe in something that has actually been disproven and, and, and contradicts a well-established law of science and biology, biogenesis. And it just flies in the face of everything that we know in the scientific community at, uh, uh, of, in the subject of biochemistry. Not only that, the evolutionist believes in a self-replicating molecule. Because not only is it preposterous enough that they believe that life just came about through random chance, spontaneous generation is another word for it, they of course have to also believe that that first life that came about you know, by chance was able to self-replicate. Because if it wasn't, it would have just died off eventually. Right? It couldn't survive for millions, billions of years or however long that they claim within their theory that the first molecule uh, could have or would have survived. But they have to believe that there was a self-replicating molecule. But, but the funny thing about that is, is that this also does not exist in, in the known world. This is a, a, a theory as well that does not exist in nature. We've never observed this. There is no self-replicating molecule in the entire world. It doesn't exist. You, they, they, they do not exist. So this supposedly today is science. These are their theories that they come up with. Things that contradict nat the natural known world of observations and what we found. And not only that, things that contradict known laws of science. And as I mentioned in my last video, <coughs> you eventually have to appeal to the supernatural. Because <coughs> if we you know, extrapolate back into time, Eventually, we're going to come to the beginning of this universe. And the only answer is that God created the world. The same thing comes with life. Life only comes from life. Well, you know what that, that means? That there must have been a living being that gave life to all of the creatures upon this earth. You know what the Bible says is that God breathed the breath of life into Adam's nostrils and he became a living soul. The Bible says about the Lord Jesus Christ that in him was life. That in him was life. So for a Christian, we have no problem. The Bible solves all these issues for us. It answers the questions, actually, before we even have them. And it goes perfectly along with the, the natural laws of science that he set into place. He is the one that started these processes, and that's why they exist to begin with. While the evolutionist claims all, <coughs> we only have naturalistic explanations for everything. And we don't need God. We don't need the supernatural. But then... Over here, all of their theories that they have to devise and come up with contradict known, established laws of science, and then they're just purely theoretical based on things that they must believe in because otherwise there must be a God. They have to believe in a self-replicating molecule, even though it doesn't exist. They have to believe in a biogenesis, even though it has been actually proven that it cannot happen in the known world. God bless you, and have a good day.